Hey everybody, Sammy here at SFI Sports Cards, back with another video. Today is November 11th. Thank you for being here and joining me to look at some sports cards. And if you're new here, welcome. I'm glad to have you and hope you consider sticking around. Today we are celebrating Veterans Day. And I don't think I have to explain the importance of this special day. We all know someone who has served in our armed forces, and I thank everyone's service, dedication, sacrifice to protect our freedoms, our way of life. There was a live stream last night on Four Collectors Channel, which I was lurking for a bit. I'm usually busy on Friday nights, but I got to see some cards real quick. I believe Adam was showing Warren Spawn cards when I checked in. But I will leave the link to that video in the description box below. And I plan on checking out the rest of the video later on today. So check out the video that is included. Um, like I said in the description box, we got a handful of veterans from our community that uh, participated in it, and uh, while you're there, feel free to give four collectors a sub. But today, I decided on a video because a couple things popped up in the last day or two uh, concerning some of my favorite athletes. Uh, one will be honored, and another was honored last night. So first, uh, the Pittsburgh Penguins announced that on February 18th, they will be retiring Yaramir Yager's number 68. Which is well deserved. I wonder if Mario Lemieux will be there. I would assume he will be in attendance. As they were longtime teammates. Yager, my favorite hockey player of all time. Loved watching him dance around the ice. Um, to me, his best traits, besides the flowing hair, uh, tremendous stick handling. Powerful lower body, hit a long reach, and amazing balance. Second all time on the NHL's all time scoring list. In February of this year, 2023, Yager scored his 1000th, 100th career professional goal. Yeah, he was still going at it at the age of 50. I believe he uh, played for the team he is a owner of, I believe. But yes, February 18th. Let's see. I looked real quick. That's on a Saturday. Hmm. I wonder how much tickets will be. That'd be cool to jet on over there to Pittsburgh and check out the game, get a hotel room, come back Sunday. I'll have to think that went over, to be honest. But yes, he will be raising his number in the rafters. So, that is the first subject I wanted to... Uh, get to you guys. Next, I'm going to unveil my latest Topps Tiffany Ricky Henderson that I have acquired. Now I'm going to post some of these up here on the ones I've already got. Real quick. This is a slow going project, which, you know, I'm not in a hurry 
get this done. I believe, you know, the journey is just as much fun as, you know, actually getting the cards in hand. But, uh, it is still going. I have not given up. I will not until I get all the Tiffany's that he's appeared on. Not just, you know, the uh, base cards, but anything that he is included on in a card. Could be a lead leader's card, like uh, this here. A team leader's card. There's several of those, you know, all-star cards. But, um... Uh, I did pick up one recently. Uh, this one was sent to us from About to Head Up um, Cards. He there is an eBay store. Now this is located in Omaha, Nebraska. Shout out to Vintage Card Steve, as he calls Nebraska home. One of the um, great guys in our community. Um, he's always very supportive of my channel. So, um, we'll never hesitate to give him a shout out. So, today, we're going to look at... Sorry, trying to get this tape off. We have the 1991 Topps Tiffany Ricky Henderson All Star Card. This looks great for an eight. Could be, maybe, a little undergraded. But, as long as it looks good, that's all I can ask for. We got the peachy collar on the back. Here it shows Henderson leading the American League in stolen bases. As he ran away with that uh, distinction by 22 bases. He was also... MVP in the American League in 1990. He beat out Cecil Fielder of the Detroit Tigers, who I believe hit 51 home runs that year. The first time anyone had hit 50 or more since... Let's go with 1977 George Foster. If I am incorrect, please correct me on that in the comments. But this is an 8. Uh, tell me what you guys think. Centering is pretty spot on. Anything with the surface? Can't really tell. Doesn't look like it's uh, too bad. But, either way, looks awesome. And happy to add this to my Tiffany Henderson collection. So, last night in Louisville, Kentucky, Henderson was honored with the Louisville Slugger Museum and Factory Living Legend Award. So I got some notes here real quick on um, this prestige, prestigious award. So, says um, Louisville Slugger Museum and Factory is delighted to announce that baseball icon Ricky Henderson will be honored with a Living Legend Award on November 10th at the Iconic Museum, established in 2007. This prestigious accolade celebrates individuals 
whose contributions to baseball and society have attained legendary status. Yeah. I guess he qualifies. Now, obviously I don't have to go through all his accomplishments. You either know them already or I've touched on a lot of them uh, in past videos. Now there's also, I'm um, seeing here, a limited edition Louisville Slugger bat to honor the living legend. Uh, the factory produced an iconic yellow, green, two-toned, finished T141 model collector bat for this special occasion. Expertly crafted collector bat will be autographed by Henderson. The bat design includes a silhouette of Henderson holding a base above his head. The back of the bat features some of Henderson's career highlights. The bat is now sold out. I tried to look for some images of it. Could not find any. But that, um... Yeah, that fits well. A green and yellow two-tone bat. As, um... You know, probably depicts his days in Oakland. That's where he spent most of his career. So, yeah, that would be pretty sick to have in anyone's memorabilia collection, I would think. So, this award, let's look at some past recipients. Um, Henderson joins a prestigious group of Baseball Hall of Famers to receive the award. Uh, this was... This started in 2007, so let's see. Starting with 2022, Jim Tomei. In 21, Derek Jeter. In 19, Mike Schmidt. In 17, Frank Thomas. 16, Dave Winfield. 2015, Andre Dawson. Before him, Ozzie Smith. Cal Ripken Jr., Tony Gwynn, Johnny Bench, Ernie Banks, Henry Aaron, Frank Robinson, and the first, 2007, Ken Griffey Jr. So what a list. I wonder if any of the other um, recipients had... A limited edition bat, I'm assuming. I'll have to look after shooting this video. But, uh, yes. There is the new edition. So, with that being said, that does it for today's video. Glad you stuck with me, and if you were new here, again, welcome. Everyone, thanks again for checking out the video. Enjoy your weekend. And again, check out the video on a 4 collectors channel and uh, I'll be back soon so everyone take care be safe out there